are you gonna learn how to describe a bad wig? And who are the most adorable kids on all of reality TV? And where else do friends become enemies in less than 60 minutes? All this and more on this week's episode of Reality Decomposed. Hi everybody, I'm your girl, Sherielle Carroll. And I'm Jay Madison. Where do we begin this week? Let's see, why don't we start at the end of Basketball Wives. Did you not see Evelyn and Chad in their little heart to heart last week? You know what, I think we have something to decode. So basically, what I got from it, homegirl was telling her man that it was okay to cheat? I mean, what what is this? I wanna know, go to the pharmacy and get condoms. I'm gonna be sick like a mother but what can I do but respect you? No, you know what I got from that? That it's okay and it's cool and they can communicate and that clearly Evelyn is about that life. No, 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 no. If she was really about that life, I mean really about that life, she wouldn't be asking all the questions. I love the Ratchet Boys. You would love the I Ratchet Boys. I love the Ratchet Boys. Boys. But since we're talking about ratchetness, what's up with them dogging out Kenya this episode? I think we need to discuss. Let's discuss. You know what, girl? Kenya is the new Royce. Remember when they used to shade Royce in season one and two about dressing? Shade her down. But they're talking about Kenya like... OMG, what do she have? She wretched! <laughs> she wretched. No, seriously. They were reading Kenya for filth this week. Like, reading her. I want you to let us do that hair, Carter. Hey. Hello. It's, it's too babe. much for your face, yes. You look like one of our aunties. Then take off that Morticia jacket. But by far, my favorite was Evelyn. She delivered the shade of the week. Oh my goodness, I am still, you know what, I'm still laughing at this one. <laughs> I know, I mean, it's too much. Just, just, just roll the clip. In Kenya, her weave looks like a wig. Like, it's a little to the left. To the left, to the left. <laughs> it's leaning. Seriously, that was Shady McGrady. They act like they were all pulled together, especially Tammy. Word. <laughs> she should be the last one talking, honestly, when she came on season two looking like this. Ooh, I remember that. I remember that. She tried it, but who else? You know what? Susie. Susie's the one that really tried it this week. Oh, Susie Ketchum. Seriously, she was pistophorous. Uh, uh, boo -boo. Cool. Yes. <laughs> you like that word? Yeah, pistophorous. I was getting into the Somebody dictionary. Somebody reading the Webster's yes. Dictionary. She was just being obnoxious. Look at her. Yeah. If we weren't sitting at a bar, I'd be oh. dying. I just, I just really wanted to slap her. I wanted to give her one of these. Let me speak. You know who I really wanted to take off my glove and just with my glove? Who, 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 who? Amanda. Nini's son, Bryson. This dude had the audacity to get caught stealing razors in Walmart. Really? Really? Ha, it was really? Walmart. For real? And I remember Nini in the first episode saying something like, I am very rich. Now, it's like Bryson's in jail. Mm hmm. But then Peter is the one pleading with Nene to get her son out of jail. I mean, pleading. Come on, you being at 21. Tell me, Let's talk about you at 21. Every yes. time they get in trouble, yes. what Cut the clip because that conversation is way too long because I'm confused. Is that, the way, is that his fault? The way Nene is flirting with Peter and Peter's all concerned about Bryson, it's like an episode of Mari. In the case of Bryson Leak, Peter Thomas, you are not the father. In other news, what's up with Kim and Candy and the black baby? I don't even know. You know what? All I know is that it started off like this. I was like, hey, I'm I'm with a daughter. Her daughter. Her daughter. <laughs> and it ended up sounding like this. <laughs> We did say we were gonna be positive yeah, this week, we did, right? We did. We did. We're gonna move forward and be positive. So let's see what positive moment happened this week.
That's a damn shame. I got it. I got it. I got it. What? What? Tiny and Ti, all their adorable, cute little sons, King and Major, trying to get into showbiz. They are so adorable. I keep them though. They're so cute. Okay, okay. It's time for the message for all the young girls out there who think this is the life. Believe half of what you hear and all of what you see. Because when it comes to reality television, they aren't checking for you unless you know. Drama is just a part of the course.